bij de Orchid Saga. Mijn naam is Ilkjan Wiesma en ik ben een Orchid Grower van de Nederlands. En vandaag wil ik je laten zien hoe ik deze repot this Miltonia En ik zie de tag just before I forget. <laughs> this is the purple one. The one that was, uh, I have it for two years now. Yes. And it bloomed every year. And last year it had one uh, bit odd bloom or two, I'm not sure. But the rest seemed to be okay. So I was a little bit afraid that it may have a virus, but then the other blooms luckily turned out to be uh, as they should be. So um, that's okay. And uh, it also is very, very uh, happy, I think, because it's uh, growing very well. So let me first have uh, you guys a look at this one. This is the first thing, uh, first time it happened to me. A single bulb of a Miltonia making four new growth. So I had it happen where they make one, two, and also three, but never four. So this one is uh, really uh, enjoying it, I think, here in my greenhouse. So you can see we have more bigger growth all at the edge of the pot. And even here we have some from last year, I believe, yes, that uh, did uh, put out some roots just over the top of the, uh, over the edge of the pot. And also in here, I'm not sure if you can see it, just above my finger, oh, there's a leaf in a way, is for example, a new growth pushing to the edge of the pot. So it definitely needs to come out and it needs a bigger pot. That's uh, the reason why I have it here. So I thought, well, maybe you will like it. Uh, let's do a repot. I uh, prepared uh, many things, but I didn't put on my gloves yet. So I uh, will do that now. I have it here. Yeah, I also did uh, change the camera position. So I hope you can now better see what I'm doing here. I'm just trying things out. And when I'm editing my videos, I uh, try to overlook things and see if I can do better here and there. So I, I hope I do. <laughs> so I have... Um, this big tray here and just this uh, this tray here where I do collect the uh, a media that will fall off. The media that is uh, stuck to the roots is obviously okay because it's inorganic and I will uh, add more pumice to it. So, but there's always something falling out, of course. So first let it, we grab it out of the pot. And the first thing I see is quite a lot of roots. I hope you can see it. I think you can on camera. So this looks very promising. I had a bottom layer you can see here of bigger pumice and a small layer on top and a little bit of Cintiq here and there. And I do a bottom layer of uh, the, the bigger pumice just to prevent those smaller pumice coming through those holes underneath the pot. Because this is a fine rooted orchid and therefore I use fine uh, media but only just to, uh, to avoid uh, that media to fall out, I uh, might use some bigger pumice there. That's the only reason. So let's put it there. Come a little bit closer to the camera. I'm going to put a name tag over here for later on. I believe this is one plant, but I'm not sure. I don't, I don't remember. Well, uh, let's find out, right? <laughs> so I try to get it out gently without any breaking new uh, growths. It's always a little bit, oops, a bit messy and I probably make some uh, extra noise here, I, I'm sorry. So that went fairly well, I believe. Let me see. Maybe I wanna keep that there. And let me give you a close-up from the beautiful roots that I have here. And once again, this is the beauty of inorganic media because I don't need to untangle all of this. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. I only need to up-pot it because it needed a little bit more room. So that's very easy. I love these repots where I barely have to disturb uh, the plant itself and it can, just can grow on. Uh, like I said, I'm going to give it a little bit more room so those beautiful new growths, and it has quite a few of them, can have a uh, place in the pot as well. So I uh, will grab my pot and then we will uh, up pot it again. 
Okay, here we are again. This is the pot that I'm going to use. The outer pot and a net pot, a bigger net pot. And I really enjoy these setups. So uh, this is, uh, gives me a little bit more room to grow my plants a bit bigger. And I also grabbed the smaller pumice. I don't need uh, the bigger pumice underneath here because those holes are very tiny. And uh, it's touching the bottom of the pot, so I don't need to create a uh, wicking system. It will wick from its own. I'm basically uh, making a, a reservoir here. So that's, uh, will, this will start to wick. Uh, let me check. Yeah, I need a little layer, a first layer of this beautiful small pumice. And there's always something falling through those little holes, just a little bit. So you get this sandy stuff, but I will take it out uh, later on, and that's okay. I could leave it even there, it doesn't hurt the plant at all. But still, I like it to be as clean as possible. <laughs> if I can. Oh yeah, I need another layer. <laughs> Just checking, but yeah. Of course. Um, I did forget the water meter. <sighs> hmm, let me see. That's not handy. So I've done this so many times, but I still do forget some things from time to time. <laughs> Let me try to pull it out. Here it is. The water meter. Well, yeah, it's, if that is on a level I just put in, yeah, obviously I need a heck of a lot of water to get this uh, red pointy thing out and to uh, let me know uh, how much water is in there. So let me put it to the side, put it into place like that. So it's now touching the bottom of the net pot and I ne now we'll put a media back. So very easy done, but I had it happen at maybe one or two times in all those years that I really had to take the orchid out and start all over again because I was forgetting the water meter. Hmm. Not handy, but it happens, it happens. <laughs> and now it did happen on camera. Whoops. So that's okay. Let me see if I can position this nicely. Well, whew, it's bigger than I thought, to be honest. Mm, yeah, I still can have one year of growth in here. But to be honest, barely. But I don't have bigger pots. So this should do for now. Of, uh, yeah, I need to do for now. So I'm going to fill up just with uh, the pumice. This plant is uh, standing now in a pot as I like it to be. So I only need to up pot uh, put yeah I'll put it uh, put a little more uh, mixture in uh, in a pot and I will uh, let you see obviously the end results in a minute. But first we need to uh, do every uh, part of the pot. You can already see that these new growths are already uh, really uh, close to the edge of the pot. Yeah, it's just that big. But most of the roots will uh, find their way into the media and that's okay. Then I uh, need to repot it uh, uh, next year. And that's okay because it's growing very well. And then I maybe will grab another bigger pot. If I can find it, I think I, I will, or I should make divisions out of it. But you probably heard me say that uh, more often <laughs> on my videos. I, I really like to uh, grow my orchids as big as I can, try to get those really nice specimen plants. So I uh, think I'm going to uh, also then next year uh, try to uh, pot it in a bigger pot. So yeah, you see probably can see there's a little bit stuff falling out, but this is uh, how it looks now in its new home. Yeah, I think it looks very nice. So yeah, it's a little bit to the edge of the pot again there, but like I said, it probably will be fine. So this is actually it. <laughs> and this is the fun part. If you grow them in inorganic media, because it doesn't take long um, 
to put them in a bigger pot, especially if the roots, uh, the roots is healthy, the root system. You don't have to do much. So that's why I like to share this one. This one is very, uh, very simple, very easy done. And this one can at least grow uh, for another year in this setup like we discussed. And that's it. So I'm going to clean it and then we will uh, film it in, uh, in its place in a greenhouse. I'm going to show you where I have this one sitting on which shelf. So I will be uh, right back. In the so um, yeah, I'm not back yet in the greenhouse like I promised because I was putting the other one back to its shelf and I thought, well, actually I have more Miltonias. And because the first one did go so quickly, uh, I think I have some time to do another one for those who like it. So I hope you enjoy this repot because this one is basically the same story. It's just a bit of smaller plant, but you can see the new growth really coming over the edge of the pot. So it needs to come out. And this one is also working on getting fairly bigger. So here you can see we have the example that I did explain. The other one has four new growths. Well, this one has three here with this bulb, two with uh, that bulb. Here we have one and here and one there. So this has one, two, three. <laughs> so that's uh, quite funny and a uh, beautiful moss on there. I really like the look of it with those pebbles. Talking about pebbles, uh, it gives the other one a layer of pebbles, of course. I, I did forget it uh, somehow, but I had it in the greenhouse. I was like, this is looking different. I was forgetting the pebbles, but I will not forget it with this one. And I will uh, try to uh, put a water meter in uh, just from the start. <laughs> so sometimes you, you have those days and it's a good day, don't get me wrong, everything goes well, but yeah, I'm not that focused. I feel focused, I'm not sure what's happening. But anyhow, we will uh, do better. And in the end of the day, it's not a uh, problem, of course, like I explained in the, in the first uh, repotting. Sometimes you just have to redo things because you did forget something. That's, uh, that's everything. As long as we don't snap off new growth or roots or spikes. Well, in this case, we don't have spikes. Then I'm uh, probably uh, happy, <laughs> even though I have to redo some, th some stuff here and there. So um, again, beautiful root system. I hope you can see it with the glare there. And again, a uh, layer of the bigger pumice and then the smaller pumice. Same story as the uh, previous one. This one is a 12 centimeter pot and it will go into a 15. So it will get a little bit of bigger pot. And I must admit, maybe you did know the story. Let me show it. You see what I did? I had a water meter there and I did plant the plant in the middle. Sometimes I do that because I don't know, especially with Miltonias, which way the new growth will come out. But yeah, perhaps I could have put it a little bit further back and then we wouldn't have this problem yet. But on the other hand, it's doing fine. So it just needs a little bit of earlier, uh, a repot a little bit earlier. That's all. So now again, let's try to get it out of the pot. I just squeeze the pot a little bit and I think the roots are loose enough. I don't want to break off any new growth. This is also a, apparently a perfect time to do repots on my Miltonias because they are all making new growths. And so the ones that I need to, uh, to repot is, uh, is now the time. So I will do, and I hope you enjoy uh, these videos. Let me know if you want to. I'm not always sure which one to film. So I try to pick a few because if I would film everyone, I, I would have a heck of a lot of repot videos. And I, yeah, I'm not, don't think that everyone is waiting for uh, that many repot videos. <laughs> um, so basically the same situation. We, I don't see old roots that need to be cut off. So I'm just going to lay it here. I'm going to put, uh, prepare the new pot and put it in a new pot. And I keep saying it because I love it. <laughs> This is why I love inorganic media. It's so fantastic that you can repot this way. I don't have to interfere with the roots. I don't have to disturb them. Just give them a little bit more room and that's it. So these orchids should take off like never, nothing even uh, happened. I su su suspect so. Uh, 
let's reuse these pumice here. The bigger ones. Do I have enough? No, I can use a few more. Luckily I have more. <laughs> Let me check. Here they are. So here it is, the bigger pumice. Again, just a, a layer to prevent uh, those smaller pumice, to prevent the smaller pumice to fall out. I'm not sure if you did catch that because these noises are a little bit uh, harder on, uh, louder, I should say, when I edit, edit uh, my video. So sometimes I think, well, I'm not sure if they could hear me enough or good enough. So I try to uh, avoid that. Yeah, and the small is always a little bit dustier. So I try to blow that dust away. And this is basically it. You see these tiny, tiny roots? Those are from ferns. But that's not the end of the world, of course. Beautiful. Let me show it to you guys up close. I hope you can see the new roots of the ark itself in there as well. So yeah, I don't have to do a thing about this. So let me see the position of the path we just dis discussed. Can I... That a little bit better this time. Not much better, I do admit, but that this time it's because I have a lot of roots on the back side of the um, the arcade as well with the older bulbs. Otherwise I have to first untangle them, like I said, and I don't want to do that because I don't want to strip it too much. So therefore it's now also a little bit further in the pot than perhaps would be necessary. But yeah, that's why I'm going to leave it like this. And just put it up with some new media. Let me do this a little bit different so you can see what's happening there. Any pot? Yeah. I think this is a little bit better. Just filling up the gaps here. And I'm trying to be as careful as I can because of those new growths. Making sure those first roots at least can. Uh, start growing inside of the pot and this as i can see it from now is probably also one that i need to repot uh, next year but then we had a full growing uh, season again and i can see what the plant is doing if i want to keep it as a big plant which i probably will but sometimes this part let's say dies off for whatever reason and maybe a bulb is rotting in that case i will make it a little bit uh, shorter of course so I will cut those off and then put it up again so you never know what happens but this one sh seems to be very healthy so I don't expect it but yeah as you probably know you never know what the, what the plants are uh, doing or what happens I have one that lost its leaves uh, a Miltonia and that's because I did uh, manage to give it too much sun I didn't, I noticed it too late, so therefore it's now uh, leafless. It's completely my fault. And therefore it looks like it's going to lose a few uh, bulbs. So you never know what happens, happens of course. But I like this because, we st oh, I can uh, put some extra media here, I can see. But I wanted to show you the moss. I keep the moss there and it will probably just continue to grow. So that's beautiful, of course. I see a little bit of a, an air hole here and I'm it's a fairly big one so I'm going to try to uh, fill it up I'm just gently pushing the media down tapping basically tapping it down and we obviously need a bit of pebbles so I don't need more media there but we try to avoid the bigger air gaps I have a few here but it's a very moist environment so they they don't mind but if the these air gaps are too big, I try to get some media in. But I found that they do not mind a little bit of extra air. To be honest, I think they enjoy it actually. Because then you have a nice ratio of air and uh, humidity around the roots. And that's basically what uh, the, in the best environment for the roots. So a little bit of holes is not the end of the world. a few pebbles here a few 
you in that corner it's a little bit hard to read so I need to do it like this and that's it let me put those back so what I will do is now give it a flush and I uh, will uh, add some water in the reservoir because this one is already used to self-watering so uh, but this is how it looks so now I'm going to uh, floss this and I promise you guys I will meet you in the greenhouse again <laughs> so um, yeah I'm not trying to be annoying here but we still are the uh, are at the uh, up potting table but before we go in the greenhouse I just wanted to show you guys from the last repot this is everything I need to clean up a little bit of uh, dusty uh, I call it dusty because it's very small pumice that keeps on falling out this is something I would throw uh, throw away this will uh, go in that uh, pan over there uh, cooking pan and I will uh, if it's almost uh, filled up with uh, pumice that I did use I will boil it and then I will clean it and I will put it in my uh, containers here so I can uh, reuse it so yeah that was uh, but I just wanted to show you guys I cannot sometimes I, I'm still surprised sometimes at how quickly we sometimes can repot uh, our orchids if you grow them uh, with inorganic media it's so easy so that's what I wanted to show you but now uh, now I will definitely go into the greenhouse like promised so and I have my Miltonius over here it's fairly light here well actually normally it's not it's a bit of sun today as you can see so that's nice I have my dendrobium phalaenopsis here brush jet types here those get a little bit more light and then my Miltonius here and as far as I can see they love it here but anyhow this is the first one that we did and I did put a tag back in and never show it to you guys but I always uh, adjust the the year so I know how long it's have been in this pot and how often I did repot it so yeah both of them can now grow on a year in the, the pot we did put them in and that's okay gives me a little bit of time to uh, find new new pots probably I will end up with something like that a very large pot but I like the look of it, these beautiful big orchids. So I try to grow all of my orchids as big as I can. I have this huge uh, Wilbur Cheng. How are you called? What's your first name? <laughs> Boba Film, Wilbur Cheng. In here, and I, yeah, like I said, I just enjoy the look of it. So that's why I, uh, I try to keep growing them on. But this is the first one and it should be fine we barely uh, did the disturb it disturb it and so it should be fine we can see quite a lot of new growth coming uh, for uh, hopefully to flower for us <laughs> and this is the second one that we did again you can see it's just one year of growth but it's the same uh, situation this one would probably go in a net pot like that one because it's a bit bigger but for now I'm keeping it in here it should be fine it's beautiful I think so we have six new growths on this one and it grew this bulb last year plus this one this one was already there so it's I think uh, it's enjoying the light and probably the setup the fertilizer etc but it started to make even more you can see here the rise in between the two so it's it uh, yeah started to make even more new growths this older bulb beautiful I think so yeah we have some old leaves I need to uh, clean up soon <laughs> the greenhouse but uh, yeah this is the area where I keep my uh, Miltonias and they should be fine and like I said most of them are early already starting new growths all of them and, oh yeah and this one this is the one that I uh, did sunburn and it wasn't sitting next to this one this one has a little had a little less sun you can see that's the damage and it's completely my fault sadly but it's making new growth and the other one as well so it should be fine so yeah so far this update on the uh, repotting actually up potting of these two Miltonias as usual if you have any questions please leave them in the, leave them in the comment section below and if you have suggestions, if you like these types of videos, please let me know. Because like I said, I find it sometimes a little bit hard to, uh, 
to know what what you would like to see me do because yeah a lot of reportings hmm, I'm not sure if that is a, a good plan so here and there I try to do a few and I'm planning on the next reporting uh, some Cattleya types I have at least one that's growing out uh, out of the pot same situation so that needs a uh, repot so I think you may like that as well but like I said uh, suggestions please leave them in the comment section for now thank you for watching and I really hope to see you at one of my next videos bye bye